The multi-camera editor lets you create professional video compilations from footage of events that have been captured on different cameras from different angles. Footage can be captured on a wide range of video recording devices such as action cameras, DSLRs, or smartphones. You can also include audio captured independently on a microphone. Now before we start the edit process, I'm going to bring in the content for this project that has been shot with six different cameras. You can import content from Project BIM or from a watch folder. I'll create a Project BIM and then bring my content in. Clicking on the navigation panel, I'll select New Project BIM and I'll give it a name. I'm going to call this one Snowflake and click OK. Now it's simply a matter of importing my content. Once my content is in, I can select the clips that I want to bring into my multi-camera editor, and then I can either click the multi-camera editor icon on the timeline, or right-click my content, and select multi-camera editor. This will allow me to import them into the multi-camera editor. In the multi-camera editor dialog, I can see I have my clips on the left-hand side and the project list on the right. I'm going to give this project a name. Again, we'll use the name Snowflake. And you'll see I have the ability to reorder the clips. This is done in a scenario where you have more than one clip shot from the same camera, then I can put them into time sequence order. Once I've done this, I'll simply click OK. After processing, you'll be brought into the multi-camera editor. In the editor, you can see the six clips on the left-hand side, as well as two virtual channels. These channels, one is black that can be used for fading or background titles, and the other is used for cropping. The upper left-hand corner, we have a settings gear. In the settings, you'll see that we have Smart Proxy, Smart Proxy File Manager, and Smart Proxy Queue Manager. By enabling Smart Proxy, Pinnacle Studio will automatically create files between four and six times smaller that are used when editing your content. This will greatly improve the performance while editing. Once all editing is complete, the original source files will be used to render out your final project. And here you can see that we have the Queue Manager. Our Queue Manager is empty as these files have already been rendered out. If I take a look at Smart Proxy File Manager, here we can see the rendered files. Let me click Exit on this. Next, under the settings, Save As, and this will actually save the project itself. Again, I'm going to call this Project Snowflake, and I'll click OK. Now before we begin, we want to synchronize our tracks so that they all align with the same parts. The multi-camera editor has a few ways in which you can do this. By clicking on this icon, we can see the audio waveform and you'll see that they are not synchronized. These clips can be synced in one of four ways, either by audio, by marker, by shooting date and time, or manually. To sync by marker, it's simply a matter of moving the scrubber to the position where you want to have it sync to, select your track, and click on the marker. We'll move to the next position, select the track, and click on marker. It's as simple as that. If I wish to sync manually, what I'll need to do is position my scrubber where I want to align to, and then I'll select my track, and then you'll notice as I drag, I have a gray line centering that I'll line up with my red scrubber bar. Next, I'll select the next track. Again, using my gray line method, I can line this up and very easily sync these tracks. Now, the third method I mentioned was shooting date and time. And this will basically take the exit data from the file and allow you to sync that way. I'm going to use the audio process. So simply select audio, click on sync. It'll take just a second and it will sync these together. Once all clips have been synced, you may want to lock each track, and this will stop the tracks from accidentally being moved around. I'm going to select these locks to lock these down.
And here we have the ability to do audio switching. Audio switching will dictate which track we are taking the audio from. As you can see, I select Auto, and in this case, the audio will come from whichever track I select during the edit process. Alternatively, I can select a particular track. I'm going to select Audio 1, as this particular track is a studio recording of the song. Now that we have everything set up, we can start to edit our clips. Clicking on the play icon, we can review each of the thumbnails as our footage progresses. As it progresses, if you wish to switch camera views, simply click on that view and it will be added to the timeline. The multi-view pane on the left helps make this task fun and easy, much like a DJ switches and blends tracks to create a new music compilation. The multi-camera editor lets you visually switch between video tracks and blend them together. Rather than hitting play, I can also use a scrubber bar and move it along the timeline. And when I get to an area that I want to add to my project, I simply need to click on that thumbnail to add it. I'm going to continue editing this and will return once it's done. You can add a picture-in-picture -picture effect to your multi-camera project as well. After I've gone through the entire video, I can select PIP or picture-in-picture -picture on the timeline. This will allow me to add additional content that will appear in one area of the screen while the main video plays in the background. I also have the ability to change the position of the PIP content by clicking on this drop-down. As you can see, I can select upper right, upper left, bottom right, and bottom left. As I select the clip that I want to use, it will add the content. Then it's just a matter of clicking on the crop filter to stop capturing of the clip. Silver. 
To add transitions, it's simply a matter of moving your scrubber to the position where you want the transition. I'll select the clip and click on the transition icon. Move to the next location and simply repeat the process. Now I should point out that in Multicam Editor there is only one transition. However, these can be edited when you return to the main application. I'm going to finish editing my transitions and we'll be right back. When you finish building your multi-camera project, you can save it so that it can be edited, exported, and shared from Pinnacle Studio. Simply clicking OK, it will save the project out and return you to the main edit screen of Pinnacle Studio. By dragging my project to the timeline and then double clicking it, I can continue to edit my project using the full Pinnacle Studio toolbox and add additional transitions, effects, and titles. If you wish, you can simply right click on your project and open in multi camera editor and continue editing over there as well. That brings us to the end of this short tutorial. We do hope that you'll have many hours of creating professional looking videos using the multi-camera feature within Pinnacle Studio. Thank you for taking the time to watch.